Hello, in this video we will install MassMine. To do so, go to MassMine.org and click on Download. We'll be following all of the instructions on the installation page. MassMine currently supports Linux and OS X. Since I'm using a Linux 64-bit system, I'll choose the first download and save it to my home directory. Now that the file has finished downloading, I can open my terminal and type ls and hit enter. This allows me to confirm that the file has in fact downloaded to my home directory. Now for the first step of the, of the uh, installation instructions, we need to choose one of the first two commands. The first one is for zip files, and the second one is for tarballs. Since I chose to download a zip file, I'll copy the first command and then go ahead and paste it in the terminal. Now if you look at the instructions, it says that we need to replace all the XXX in that command with the version number we downloaded. Well, our version number is listed here. Now you may be watching this at some point in the future where MassMind's version number has changed. We do, uplo we do update MassMind regularly. What you'll want to do here is come back and make sure that MassMind's command matches the version number in the file you downloaded. Basically, this unzip command is merely unzipping the file we downloaded. So we can arrow over and write in the correct version number. Now again, I'm going to type 0.110 because that's the version I downloaded. Yours may likely be different. So you'll want to copy it exactly. And you can see there I maintained both of the dashes on either side because that is how the file itself is. And then we can go ahead and hit enter. And there we see MassMine extracted correctly. Now we can go ahead and move into the MassMine directory by typing cd space MassMine. cd stands for change directory. So this command is just moving our terminal into the MassMine directory or folder. Now the next command calls MassMine's help function to make sure that MassMine was installed correctly. So simply copy this command and paste it. And there we see MassMine is functioning correctly. The help screen came up. Now for the next command, we again will choose between one of two options. I recommend always going with the second option. You may need administrative privileges for this command. What this command does is that it makes it to where MassMine is available from anywhere on your computer. You'll likely not want to collect data and um, put it in the MassMine folder. The MassMine folder is just for the MassMine program, just as it is with any software or application you download. You'll want to create new folders that are correct and named according to your project or your um, reason for collecting data. So. Again, with both of these options essentially do the same thing, but the second one does so with administrative privileges. So we'll copy this and paste it in the terminal. Now I'm going to get an error here uh, after I put in my password, and you'll have to put in your password too. Oh, I typed the wrong password, sorry. So I got an error because it says file already exists because I already did this step earlier. But you should get no error, and it should just return a blinking cursor. Now you can test this by typing cd space dot dot. And again, the same as we did before, let's type, let's take, um, call the MassMind help. And if, if this works in our home directory, now that we've left the MassMind directory, that means the previous command worked appropriately. And there it is. So that is it. MassMind is now fully installed.